many moons ago. It's a few moons now. It's not one, two, three, more than four. No, anyway, a long time ago, when I was a baby. I was uh, bought a narrowboat, gave up work and all that, and I decided to film it all. Why don't you come along? Put your feet up, eh? Put some toast on if you want. Some biscuits. Two, please. What a beautiful place to visit. What a beautiful place. I just wanted a quick recap of, I was in this railway museum last time, I wanted to show you the scale of these trains, look. It's got people to ask, can you take a photo for me? And they did. Look, size of it, huge thing. And all the trains behind me, look, hey, watching me, watching me vlogs. When these boats go past, they create a wash, and, you, and the boat, I was trying to show you in a minute, the boat just bangs, my boat just goes boom, 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 against the side until it's... To the waves at the back of stopped, you know. Let's see if I can show you. It's now a lot. Oh, big waves. Boom. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm sick of this banging now, the banging of the boat on the side. I'm gonna, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make myself a tire. I'm gonna make a tire a fender so it goes under the water. Let's do it. I've got my new, I've got my drill bit, I've got some rope, hey, it's a bit dark, I've got some rope, uh, let's make a tyre fender, come on! Here's my tyre, I've already drilled a hole that side, so I'm just going to attach the rope there, but I've got to drill a big hole here to let the water out, let's do it shall we? Water out though, that's all it's for. Right, let's put some rope on it. The tire goes right under the water. Hey, cut the holes in the bottom, let that water out. Hopefully, that will keep my boat off the side, maybe, I'm not sure. Time will tell me this. I think it might be a ear in it. Get the air out of it. So it sinks properly. Mm. There's a step. There you go. I think I've sunk now. Turn to the step. That step down there under the water. Let's find out if it works. Those three pound drill bits come in handy from Diggles, didn't they? Oh, wicked. That's time will tell. Let's see when the next boat goes past, if it bangs or not. Mmm, experiment time. There's a couple of boats coming down, so let's, uh, let's see if my wave fender works. Okay. I think we're all right. Okay, well, so tyre, tyre seems a success. I'll take that. I've got some sand as well, you know. I want to show you I've got some sand. I've got time board lot. I'm just doing, well, I can even bother with your lifestyle. I've got some sand here. And that sand, believe it or not, that sand is from, when it's, this place floods, it leaves a load of sand on the steps. So I'm going to dry it out, I'm going to dry it out, the camera work is horrendous, I do apologise. 
I'm going to dry it out, mm. filter it. I'm going to use that to sand my boat. You know, the top of the uh, late dry, I dry it on the fire in a pan. I'm going to sand the top of the boat and paint it, and I'll show you me doing that. Alrighty. Filthy thumbs up. Sandy thumbs up. It's a sight to be old, isn't it? Wow. We've got defensive walls that carry on over there as well. Wow, this city is amazing. You can go in this tower, cost ten pounds. I thought it's expensive for a little bit of wall and walk around inside, isn't it? So I didn't bother. Tight. Sit now for the tour. Time to get back to the boat. And I think it's that way. So I'm here, it's the castle. I'm moored. I'm moored here somewhere, I think. Oh no, I'm moored here. What a great place to moor up, not. There, I'm moored down the gardens. Oh, it's fabulous, York Minster. Fabulous place to visit York. easy tie and untie knots I can go really quickly and with a flick of the wrist it's dead easy hey, come on there we go it's so simple we just cut that rope there yeah, yeah good and we're off nearly well, we're off again leaving lovely lovely York it's absolutely loved it here love this uh, place but it's time for me to pick up my microphone get back to my van it's been about two weeks now and uh, got the River Derwen beautiful bridge that very ornate so much to uh, so much to see and do in York you know every every corner every everywhere you look somewhere to explore or read about or expand your knowledge watching over me on my journey thank you beautiful bridge isn't it very ornate very hard Harry Potter style isn't it well goodbye to York wonderful wonderful York There's some wood larking on there looking for Metal detecting, looking for old coins and stuff, and got the pubs, which I didn't really frequent, but I did walk down here. It's a beautiful walk. <coughs> Cracking. I didn't know you could moor down here, and that, and that little narrowboat there was further up before. Oh, that's interesting. little uh, toll houses on there, it's a cafe now that is, you go in there for a coffee, look at people like me going past, wonderful, really really enjoyed York, uh, I spent two days on that grass mooring and then another night on the it's hard standing so stay there too long since the boats get on you the banging gets on my nerves so and last night I had uh, people talking outside my boat about I don't know, one o'clock in the morning which is fine you know but I don't think they realize people are on the boats they're outside your boat going, <laughs> I saw Tracy down the road and, uh, and then that Linda what's the name and, uh, and then uh, you know going on about things like that when they're drunk Sort of like rubbish, really. So these are serious boats down here, aren't they? Beautiful moor in there, isn't it? What a gorgeous boat that is! Look at that. I'd have one of those. I'd definitely love to own one of those boats. I'm just skippering that, going to France on it. Sea fishing, my just diesel though, isn't it? Running the things. Private moorings. Beautiful. Isn't that, imagine owning that boat, Lord, that gorgeous. 
wonder what size the engine is can you comment below if you know it's got to be a, like a seven litre diesel or something surely beautiful vessel and you've got your common old garden narrow wide beam sorry and that's nothing compared to that one look at the difference in size what a beautiful how do you find these boats you know that's another gorgeous boat there look the cruiser take it to sea take it to france and all that one last goodbye to uh, lovely york what a wonderful experience that was got about a two hour cruise I'm not cruising fast 1200 rpm going down river I don't want to go there quickly save diesel take my time we well, get there what do you do then you know what I mean oh, I'm moaning about being on the narrow but I know I do get bored sometimes it's not all running through fields of flowers holding hands you know what I mean especially when it's raining for weeks on end you get stuck inside oh hey eh? You'll find out if you buy a narrowboat what it's like. You have to have emotional nerves of steel. See that? You can see that there. You can more just on the outskirts of York if you don't want the hustle and bustle, like me. And uh, you can avoid all that. So you can more just down here, half a mile away, walk in, enjoy the sights and the sounds, and get out in the peace and quiet again. You know, it's fantastic. So you can't, you've got a steering wheel at the front, you can't think quite see that. No, so there's no um, tiller at the back. Oh, there's all posh boats down here, look. Where am I going? Where am I going? Get over.
for that pos probably. No, not 200,000, 300,000 maybe. That one's my cup of tea there, lot. Like, something like that. I do me. Gypsy Rose. Oh no, my, my other my old boat was called Tattooed Rose. Bought it off a tattoo artist. A couple of heavy rockers. Love that boat. I had to sell it though because Sue got cancer. Bloody selfish, isn't she? Getting cancer on me, you know? Some women just don't think about other people, do they? Talk for themselves. <laughs> Joking. That's for sale. That's for sale there, look. That's very unusual. Look at that boat. It's very unusual, isn't it? Beautiful looking thing. Look at that. Windows. Le Befort. Wonderful area. That's where your money is in those boats there, look. Huge amount of money on those, isn't there? I'd live in one of those, definitely. Just the running costs. And that, that's a beautiful boat. Yeah. I wanted to show you this, it looks like the boat in front and the boat behind I had a little baby <laughs> a little baby in the middle <laughs> they've been at it, it's springtime they've been, they've been at it, they've had a little baby look, oh, hey just starting to motor just getting its sea legs now to on to Mayburn Mayburn Lock so I'm going to stay here and then let's back onto Tidal Ooze then Onto the scary tide lose. Mm. Lovely journey, very very slow. Um, stopped at one speed all the time, 1200 rpm. Took me, took me time, you know. Enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Oh, it was very cold though in the wind. There we go to Neighbourn Rock. Plenty of moorings, wonderful. Got here all right, moored up. I'm gonna wait here, go and see the locky. I'll try and get down that uh, tidal ooze tomorrow. For now, let's do the uh, washing. Look at that scratch. Oh, got it. Woke up with the boat going past me at seven o'clock, and the lock keeper's here. And I ran down, said, "Can I get in?" He said, "Oh, I'll get in afterwards." Twenty-four hour notice supposed to give me. She's right. I said, "I said, don't mind waiting for another day." He goes, "Oh, I'll get you in. Come on." So I'm get no no breakfast, no nothing, straight in. Mate, what do you think about going down early down the lock? Oh, I didn't woke up yet. Have you? Oh, not again last night. No. I thought I could smell something. Are you ready for it? So am I, mate. Let's do it. <laughs> 